Hi, I'm Tim Tyler and this is a review of this book, The Things We Do, using the lessons of Bernard and Darwin to understand the what, how and why of our behaviour by Gary Seco. Seco wrote this book in the year 2000 after writing Without Miracles. It contains a history of evolution, a history of cybernetics and perceptual control theory and a section on applying these ideas to human behaviour. Darwin will be familiar to most, but not everyone will have heard of Claude Bernard. Bernard was a French physiologist who lived at about the same time as Darwin. He studied how organisms act to control their internal environments. Seco traces ideas about goal-directed systems through Bernard and the pioneers of cybernetics to William Powers and perceptual control theory. The main point seems to be that the standard input-output model of information th flow through organisms which has perceptions leading to processing and processing leading to action is a linear model which misses out something very important, namely the idea of control of perception. Feedback via the environment from action to perception is actually very important. And by contrast, in perceptual control theory, organisms act so as to control their own perceptions. The book is a good one. Most of the material about Darwinism and universal selectionism in it are expressed in more detail in Without Miracles. However, this book has more historical perspective, more philosophy, and a lot more cybernetics and perceptual control theory. The book is a little bit on the dry and boring side. However, there's one section that was more interesting than most, which was a chapter where Seiko shows how other thinkers stack up in their understanding of the subject. He rates Chomsky, Piaget, Skinner, Pinker and Dennett on their understanding of the topics that he discusses in his book, giving them marks out of three. And to briefly summarise, he gives Chomsky zero, Piaget and Skinner get a half point each, Pinker gets one full point and Dennett gets two and a half points. I would have given Skinner and probably Dennett more points, but otherwise this seems about right. While this chapter seems a bit like Seiko showing off, he has a reasonable point, which is that this important material is much neglected by other thinkers. While it's hard to argue with the significance of Darwin, Zico makes a weaker case for the significance of Bernard. I didn't think the ideas from perceptual control theory, cybernetics and feedback were in as opposition to the conventional perception processing action model as Zico implies. However, even if this material is re less revolutionary than Zico suggests, these are still interesting and important subject areas. While this is a nice book, those interested in Seiko's ideas should definitely read Without Miracles first. Enjoy!